Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. We want to thank God for you people. Yeah, I want to thank God for his life, for his love, for his mercy and his care upon our lives. So I'm very glad that today I'm talking to you again. Uh, people from different countries were watching us. People from USA, Canada, UK, Australia, Africa, Europe. I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I bless the name of the Lord for you. Father, I thank you for people whom are going to listen, the word I'm going to share. May you bless them, encourage them, O oh God. May your spirit convict them as it is written, that your spirit convicts the world with sin. I pray may your anointing be revealed, may your power be revealed. We destroy all the activities of the devil, we destroy all the powers of darkness that fights and snatch away the word of God from people. In the name of Jesus, Father, I call upon your anointing, I call upon your uh, the manifestation of your power. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So, my brothers and my sisters, uh, we are running a movie project. We want to shoot a movie about heaven and hell. So, it's my prayer if there is any way you can stand with us, please do it. Stand with us so that we can preach the gospel together. Yes, there is no small money in the ministry. Anything you can, it can help us to push the movie industry. Yes, so anything the Lord puts on your heart, it can help us to run the ministry because we need a lot of staffs, we need the machines, we need cameras, we need we need a lot. With you we can uh, we can preach the gospel together. Wow. So I know Holy Spirit will convict you people as you are listening to this gospel. Uh, today I want to talk about sin. I know most of you, you hear about sin, you hear about, <laughs> so today I want to talk about sin. What is sin? Sin, whenever we talk about sin, we are talking about something that is opposite of righteousness. Sin, it is opposite of righteousness whenever you are doing something that is not right it is a sin yeah so when we talk about sin it is the opposite of righteousness now today uh, I'm not going to go deep in sin but uh, we shall be having lessons about sin by the grace of God slowly. So, today I want to talk about unforgivable sin. Because there, is, there are a lot of sins, so, but it is very difficult to differentiate what are forgivable sins and unforgivable sins. Unforgivable sins, these are sins that their judgment is already persecuted. Those are the sins. Uh, I want us to talk about them, to see them. For example, we have a sin, unrepented sin. If you don't repent your sins, if you don't confess them, for example, you are not paying tithe, you are not uh, 
you are living in the life of fornication you are living a life of using drugs if you don't repent and you die in those sins it becomes an unforgivable sin as long as you don't repent your sins some of you you repent uh, some sins and you hide other sins for example you can repent yet you are still fornicating but you don't want to repent because the man you are fornicating with is the one giving you money is the one taking care of you so you don't want to repent that but you repent other sins so this sin you have not repented it becomes an unforgivable sin unless you repent it and after repenting it you leave it so when we look in the book of second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 it said that if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and they leave their wicked ways they call upon my name i'll hear them from heaven and i heal their land if i want you to understand that word if that means if you don't repent god will not forgive you it will become unforgivable sin then in number two refusing to accept jesus to be your personal savior if you refuse to accept jesus to be your personal savior you are condemned <laughs> it becomes unforgivable sin unless you have accepted jesus to be your personal savior the bible says john chapter 3 that so God loved the world, he sent his son to die for our sins, that whoever believes in him shall not die, but have eternal life. Those who, who, who doesn't believe will be condemned. When you read John chapter 3 verse 18, you will be condemned. Mm -hmm. Then uh, committing suicide, most of you, you have a spirit that is controlling you to commit suicide. God never created you to terminate yourself or to kill yourself. The day you kill yourself, it will become an unforgivable sin. Mm -hmm. I know. So, failing to preach the gospel. Once you fail to preach the gospel, God will condemn you and will not forgive you. When you read the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 18, he said that if I, Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 18, if I send you to preach, to tell, to warn people, to tell someone against his sins and you refuse, and that person dies in his sins, he will go to hell and his blood will be upon you uh, so that means even you you will not inherit the kingdom of god uh, we have what we call adamic sin jesus came to to die for adamic sin because we lived in the life uh jesus uh, people we lived in the life of sin because of Adam so Jesus came to remove Adamic sin Adamic sin was unforgivable sin that's why you see Jesus had to come in and pay the debt with his blood with him being crucified on the tree or on the cross uh -huh. grieving another point grieving Holy Spirit or blaspheming Holy Spirit. What is what do you understand by the word blaspheming? For example, the Bible says in the book of Genesis that when the sons of God saw the daughters of men are beautiful, 
they intermarried them. That one it was a blasphemy. A blasphemy. Angels, they are marrying people. <laughs> it is a blasphemy. Second, if someone starts saying that he is God, I'm God, I'm God, I'm your God, is a person but is calling himself a God, it is a, a blasphemy. Yeah? It is what? A blasphemy. You are blaspheming God. So, uh, another part of blasphemy is to do what is opposite to what God wants or, or the will of God. For example, if God said that a man shall marry a woman, and for you say a man shall marry a man, a woman shall marry a, a fellow woman, it is a blasphemy. Uh, thirdly, when the Bible talks about the book of Hebrews, that if someone has possessed, has experienced the power of God, and he has enlightened with the spiritual gift, once he falls away, it is impossible for him to come back. So when you fall away from God's presence, it is a blasphemy. You, it is impossible for you to come back to God's presence. So, my sister, my brother, I want you to check your life. Yes, I want you to check your life. If you have a question, you can ask me. You can, we can keep it in a, uh, in a contact. Uh, I put my contacts there down. You can keep with me on WhatsApp, on email. Yeah, if you have a blessing, God has blessed you. Support us in our ministry. Support us in the movie ministry. Support us in the youth ministry. We are running a lot of ministries because we don't have time. We have to do what we can. By the end, Jesus will be manifested. If you would like to accept Jesus to be your personal savior, I want you to repeat these words. Say, Dear Lord, today I come before you I accept you as my Lord and my personal Savior. Forgive me. Take away my names from the book of death. Write it in the book of life. I confess now that I'm born again. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Father, I pray for people who have been who are watching me, who are listening to this uh, gospel. May you touch their lives. May you heal them. May you set them free. In the name of Jesus, empower them, give them your spirit, lead them in the ways of salvation. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.